this is uh, Brian Law's Clock 13, which uh, he released uh, in a uh, very uh, condensed type of uh, size. The entire height of the clock is 11 inches. The diameter of the escape uh, wheel is about uh, one uh, and a half inch and so are all the other gears. This is completely cut from wood and not um, like the original design is destined to be printed by uh, 3D printing. I actually made one 3D printing version of the clock. This is my rendition, uh, the same clock cut in wood. Uh, the gears are working fine. Uh, the escapement uh, is uh, highly accurate or as accurate as it can get when you cut these type of elements uh, with a uh, scroll saw and file them down to position with a tool like this. So we have the uh, back here the pendulum uh, is anchored on a six millimeter uh, ball bearing then we have the uh, escapement rocker here and the escapement itself. The clock is powered by this pulley here, which uh, is being pulled down by a uh, approximately one pound uh, weight uh, to, to wind up the clock. Uh, it's uh, relatively made easy you you move the uh, the weight back up like this uh, this is actually allowed by a uh, one-way uh, ball bearing here inside the pulley itself so this way the one-way bearing blocks and allows the weight to uh, power and if I move it the other way, it just slips. And it makes it very easy to wind up the clock. So if you look carefully, I left out all the wind up mechanism for this clock because I decided that winding up the clock this way is uh, the least disturbance to the clock and it can be done very, very simple. The clock face will be replaced. I will create a better clock face. So sorry about the appearance. Uh, otherwise, I use the traditional uh, uh, hour hand and uh, minute hand. And you can see back here, the escapement powered by the pulley uh, times uh, the 16 gear to 60 gear uh, down here 10 to uh, 60 10 to 60 the hour hand and then the 1 to 12 uh, transformation from an 8 uh, tooth gear back here onto a 32 and then from a 10 to a 30 so that's a 12 a 1 to 12 trans uh, transformation from the minute hand movement uh, one rotation per hour uh, and then 12 hours I get about uh, six hours of this uh, pulley if I would move the pulley here and reduce the diameter but then the force of the weight is higher so therefore, I just leave it like that and I'm happy with, uh, you know, the design. Thank you for watching.